Hello and welcome, everyone. I hope you are having a lot of fun at OCP and already leveraging the great infrastructure that OCP sets up, the great ecosystem that it sets up. I feel extremely lucky and honored to be here today, especially because of the topic I'm here to talk about. OCP, of course, works on all of your effort, time, all the specifications, contributions that everybody makes. And a part of that are the innumerable contributions that our women contributors bring in. I'm especially here to highlight that very important part of the OCP engine. Have a good look at the slide. The names over here are nowhere close to exhaustive. We have so many women contributors who have been giving all of their effort to make OCP and specifications happen. They are across various communities of OCP, cooling, networking, security, storage, sustainability, and goes on across more than 12 communities of OCP. I would really like to thank all our women contributors for managing everything and making such contribution and things happen. Request everyone to give them a big applause, please. With so many women contributors, OCP is also building the support system that they have. And Sun will talk about it. So we thought it would be better that we have a more organized voice and approach representing women within OCP, um, which is a very influential and powerful organization in this industry. So thanks to the support from OCP, we initiate this group, Women in OCP, um, end of last year. Our mission is to um, address shared challenges and barriers um, across the industry at industry level, and also foster more diverse and inclusive ecosystem. This is our year one, and our focus is to build safe and supportive community um, and village. So we support each other when going through life and career transitions. I personally came from oil and gas business, and when I first entered this data center tech industry and came to OCP, I was very overwhelmed by all different languages and culture. This will happen to anyone at least one time. Also, sometimes we go through life changes, such as our parental leave may need to re-enter this industry at some point. And some folks go on leadership track. So our aim is to really create the role model and challenge um, the help people challenge the stereotypes here. We also talk and learn from each other within this village. With that, um, this is our highlight of the key milestone and achievement in the last one year. We had a very successful launch of the WOCP, Women OCP, um, at the Global Summit last year. Um, George, our OCP CEO, came and gave a speech, and more than 100 women and men attended and joined us for this breakfast session. Early this year, we established a leadership team. Um, so in addition to Shruti and myself, we also have other leaders um, from other segments to ensure that we capture diverse thinking. Back in April at EMEA Summit, uh, we had another networking event when we open up and share strong personal stories and experience each other. Come July, we actually started a new series that is the Empower R. So as a part of Empower R, we are bringing in training, mentoring for um, you know, women and non-women leaders, whether it is through you know, training about how to speak on stage or it is training about a technical topic. We are sort of trying to include all of that. So please let us know what you want to see. And our membership grew very rapidly after that. Thank you so much for everyone for who is joining us. We are already 200 plus members. Tomorrow, at the OCP Summit, we actually have two special events. One is Women in AI panel. That's also co-sponsored by NVIDIA and Lenovo. And the second one, tomorrow at 5 PM, is the WOCP networking session. We would invite everyone to please come join us and you know, network and leverage the session over there. Finally, here is the invitation. Please join us. Help us build an inclusive tech community. Help us support women and non-women together and make it a 
great place for OCP innovations. Thank you.